I'm Jay Margulis, the Faculty Director of Makerspaces at DePaul University. My name is Andrew Morrison. I work at Joliet Junior College and I'm a member of Workshop 88. Hi, I'm Sasha Neary, a librarian at the Chicago Public Library. Hi, my name is Jeff Solon. I teach computer science and making at Lane Tech High School in Chicago, Illinois. Hi, my name is Alex Close. I'm a uh, third year medical student at Chicago Medical School and I'm a volunteer with an organization called Get Me PPE Chicago. I was initially involved with some of the 3D printing parts, um, decided I wanted to try and design a flat pack shield that could be made out of one piece of material so you didn't have to source other materials, and then was able to design it so that it could be made out of laser cutter in about a minute and 45 seconds. What it looks like the next thing is, is that we're going to take the designs that we quickly get iterated out in the field uh, to manufacturers who will um, then charge a fair at cost price for the things that we fabricated. So what this effort has become since we first started and all of your generous support kind of helped us along is something that not only meets the needs of local healthcare workers and others, but also helps keep, keep people in business. Through the Illinois PPE network, we were able to source large amounts of the plastic that we needed called PETG. And then we were also with uh, Illinois PPE network money from donations, um, able to purchase about $65,000 more of the PETG, um, which is going to be able to produce roughly 70,000 more of the flat pack face shields. What I've learned since working with the Illinois PPE group is that you never know where the help is going to come from, but if you provide a means for help to be given, then people will step up. They want to make a difference. There are different ways to contribute. It takes a variety of people, skills, and abilities to make something work. Writing emails, organizing information, and working with the public is something I know about. Other volunteers are dropping off donations. So if you want to get involved in something, ask how you can help and you might be surprised. As someone with zero engineering background, um, I could not have found a, a more welcoming, accessible, and patient group of makers and educators. Um, and they've really helped me understand how ingenuity and creativity can be applied to help solve real world problems that might not be solvable through existing approaches. Um, what I'm hoping we can do long term is to provide a template for how networks across the country can work to provide assistance in future times of need. It might not be a pandemic, but if there's a framework that can be adapted for whatever the situation is and the community in need, if tailored to their own community, then down the road, other groups won't have to rediscover everything that we have learned along the way. The thing I'd like you all to know and take away from these efforts is one, they would not be possible without you. And two, it would not be possible without the work of our volunteers and all the helpers that are involved with Illinois PPE Network. With more resources and with your help, we can do so much more. With more resources, the Illinois PPE Network can not only continue to help Get Me PPE Chicago meet the needs that we identify, but it can also help enable them to further innovate and to find new ways to improve the agility of the supply chains to help respond to future shortages. So every donation that you make helps us help other people, and those people deserve our help because they're doing what they can to keep us safe and healthy.